Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Efingela and Rashid Nejmetinov. This epic game was played in Tbilisi in 1949. Gela had white pieces and he started with e4. Nejmet Tino played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish game, asking a question, bishop to a4, knight to f6, castling, bishop to e7, and now d4. Knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4. If knight takes on e5, then the black knight goes to c6. Back to our game, we have knight takes on d4. E takes on d4, e5, attacking the knight, knight to d5, bishop to b3, knight to b6, white to move. How would you continue? I guess some players would capture the pawn on d4. Gela played queen to g4, black to move, king to f8 was played. If castling, then bishop to h6. After g6, bishop takes rook back to our game, king to f8, queen to f3, threatening a checkmate, d5, pawn takes pawn and passan, bishop to f6, d takes on c7, queen takes on c7. The material is now equal, but black will have a problem with bringing his rook in the game. The game continued. Bishop to f4, attacking the queen. Queen to c6. Is this an offer to trade queens? Should white trade the queens or not? What would you do? Gela played rook to e1. Bishop to e6. Should black trade the queens and make his life easier? Well, in this position white would not take the queen immediately. White has an in-between move and that is Bishop to d6 check, which is very unpleasant. If king goes to g8, then rook to e8 check mate. Back to our game. That is why. Nedmetino played bishop to e6. Knight to d2. Knight to d5. Bishop to e5. Bishop takes bishop. Rook takes bishop. Rook to d8. Rook from a to e1. White stands better. Knight to b4. Queen to f4. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Knight takes on c2. And black has a pass pawn on the d-file, which may become dangerous. At the moment, black is threatening. Knight takes rook on e1. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Instead of moving the rook, which is on e1, Gela made a tiny threat. Rook to e7. So if knight takes on e1, then queen takes pawn. On f7 is slightly unpleasant. Back to our game. That is why Nedjmetino played f6. Rook from 1 to e6, attacking the queen. Queen to c4. Queen to g4. Such a sharp attack from Gela. Rook to g8. Queen to h5. Black to move. Nedjmet, you know, played queen takes rook. Let's take it back. If g6, then queen to h6 check. And after rook to g7, queen takes rook check. Mate. Back to our game. That is why Nedjmet, you know, played queen takes rook, giving up the queen for the rook and placing his hop on the passed pawn. Rook takes a queen d3. How to stop the pawn? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Maybe some players would play knight to d2. White play the move. And black designed and the move is Knight to c5. Rashid Nejatinov resigned. If d2, then knight to d7 check. And after rook takes knight, queen or rook to e8 check mate. And let's go back. 
How about g6? What happens then? Then the queen takes pawn on h7. And after rook to g7, rook takes on f6. Check. King to e8. Queen takes rook. And after d2, rook to f8. Not that far. Rook to f8. Check. Eight. Wow, that was a great game by Gela against such a strong player like Dejmetinov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.